What's going on, guys? Um, I woke up from a very nice little 12 hour nap. Yes, those are my naps. Uh, just see this little uh, disheartening uh, post on Facebook. Uh, someone posted anonymously that uh, they received an email from a company that they don't think was real. And then they got into an argument spat with their subcontractor about pay and pay dates. And, ugh. Anyway, so I'm gonna make this video. This is pretty much gonna be about etiquette again. I know. Uh, so the majority of you, I'm glad because a lot of you are actually have professionalism and a lot of you know exactly how to construct yourself as professionals. Appreciate that. Staffers do too. Uh, so I actually wrote down some key talking points here because I wanted to make sure that everything came across clearly and nothing was misconstrued by me talking just to talk. So read your text messages or emails in regards to paydays. Wait a minimum of three weeks before reaching out to the company you worked for. Even if they promised you payment in two weeks, due to being a subcontractor, there are many moving parts being made to make sure everyone is paid and paid correctly. There are hundreds of people working the event, and I'm sure subcontractors, they're being hit from multiple employees, not just you. So they know there's an issue, they're fixing it. I promise you. Promise. Okay, now this is a last resort. Do not go around your staffer or subcontractor unless you absolutely need to. I am here if you have a question about this. You can direct message me anytime you need to so you don't put your foot in your mouth. You can reach out to me with the situation and I will let you know the proper steps to take. I'm not always right. I'll be the first to admit that I'm not always right. I just, I have ideas that I believe, in my opinion, are the best way to go about things or the most polite ways to go about things. So if you have an issue with the staffer or emails or any about pay or anything, don't vent to me about the staffer, who they are, what they, just let me know the gist of it. Say, hey, I got this email. It doesn't seem right to me. What should I do in this situation? And I will give you the best advice that I possibly could for that situation, okay? Let me continue. All right, at the three me mark, at the three week mark, if the subcontractor has not reached out to you with any correspondences, then you can reach out to the main company as a last resort. And the proper way to go about this, in my opinion, would say, "Hello, I work for this. I work for this uh, event for this company. You may not have the information. However, would it be possible to know if payments for employees have been sent to the subcontractor I worked for? Thank you for your time. You have a great day. And you put your name and your number right below it. That way they know exactly who they're talking to. No anonymous posts ever. If you have an issue, you state who you are, your phone number, how to reach back to you, and you ask them a direct question and they will directly direct it towards you. You are a person, you are not a robot. They will answer the question. Most of the time, you email one time, not every day, not once a week. You email that main company one time. These issues will 99% of the time be resolved by themselves and you will be paid. I know we all have bills. We all do event to event. We all have bills to pay. And a lot of us live paycheck to paycheck. I get it. Trust me. They say they're going to pay us in two weeks. I would love to be paid at that two week mark. 70% of the time, it does not happen. And it's not the subcontractor's fault, all right? It's just how some things get mixed up in accounting, some things just go the wrong way and the subcontractor the last ones to know. And then you follow that as being the really last person to know. So it's not their fault. Do not blame the staffer. Even if you post anonymously, even if you post anonymously, you will be found out. All right, we all know you have talked to different people that you worked with at your bar, managers, or you texted friends that have worked the event. You will be found out. I promise you. You will be found out. Ooh, my hair's sticking up. Yep. All right, so you will be found out, okay? And, and you will have lost that source of income if you are found out. And potentially from multiple companies because you don't know who these staffers and these owners know each other. You don't know who they are close with, who they are not. The majority of these companies use event aces and event aces will hopefully take care of it. 
and other subcontractors will as well. The main companies will absolutely not tolerate it. Absolutely not. Always be professional. Do not bite the hand that feeds you. These subcontractors, these companies, these events, they pay your bills. This is great money that you are making from these events. Even if you think working three days and making $1,000 is nothing, it's trash. Trust me, I have been there. I used to think that too, when I can work a three-day event and make two, 3000 But $1,000 for working 30 hours is great. It's great money, okay? So don't be mad because you're in a bad spot like a previous video that I've talked about, okay? All right, and if you don't get emails back from staffers or other companies, do not message them multiple times. Yes, it's disheartening. I get it. I've been in that situation where I've reached out to companies that I personally worked for and they don't ever email me back. Okay, they got a thousand people that they're worried about. They don't have any time to worry about my issues and I understand. Hey, that's part of being professional. And hopefully on their end, they're being professional as well and they're being communicative with you. But if they're not, just let it be. Just let it be. All right, because I've also been in situations where I end up staffing people. And in my emails, if I, the very first line says, hi, meet at this place at this time. 10 minutes later, 90% of the time, I will get at least one person that texts me saying, what time do I need to be there? You will not get a response from me. You will not get a response from probably any staffer. 99.99% .99 of the time, read your emails, read them a second time. Read them slowly. Read them line for line. Do not skip over paragraphs. Read everything. I don't care how long the email is. It is pertinent. If you have a question that you say in your head, hey, what about this? Read the email again. Read it a fourth time, a fifth time. Once you've read it that many times, then it would be okay to ask someone else. I'd prefer to ask someone else that got the same email instead of reaching out to the staffer directly because they're getting hit from a thousand different directions. So, that's pretty much it. That's all I want to say about the situation. If you have any questions, you can drop a comment below or DM me. Like I said, if you have any issues with anything, reach out to me directly. I'll be more than happy to help with anything. Everybody have a good night.